The following video was performed by a trained professional in a controlled environment. Do not attempt this yourself, as there is a very high risk of death or disfigurement. With that being said, let's go. Hello everybody. Today I had to replace the horn in my Dodge pickup truck. Therefore, I'm going to dig a hole and detonate this airbag. I want to see how powerful this actually is. I have a feeling this is going to be great. It looks like I have to make some sort of custom connector to get voltage into there. Then I'll dig a hole, run some cables, and we're going to blow this thing up. So based on what I've read online, it only takes nine to 12 volts to actually set this off. Therefore, instead of making a connector, I've trimmed some wire and I'm actually just gonna put it in the two holes to where it makes connecting connection with both of those connectors without shorting out. I'll then secure it with some electrical tape and then I'll run it off to my battery charge. Well, that was actually really simple. I have the wires pushed in. They are contacting both of the electrodes and not shorting out. So now I'm just gonna secure it with some electrical tape and we have our fuse set. And now the tape is secure. Let's go dig a hole because I want it to be a little bit in the ground when it goes off so there's not shrapnel flying everywhere. So I've now made a small indention in the dirt. So when the airbag does deploy, the metal parts should not go flying too far. I have the detonation wire wired into an extension cord, which I will put more extension cords on to make a larger series so I'm nowhere near this when it detonates. I've also placed it under this ochre tree because I, I kind of want it gone and I want to see what damage actually takes place when the airbag explodes at a very high rate of speed. I'm going to have a slow motion camera set up. I'm also going to, going to have a drone filming it from the air. And let me get my extension cords ready. We are almost ready. Okay, it is almost that time. So let's go over the plan one more time. There is the airbag. It goes to my first extension cord. And if we follow this line down, it goes into a larger extension cord. And then I actually ran out of extension cord, but I had some ethernet cable that I used the blue and white and green and white pairs to go to the extension cord terminals. And if we follow this cable, I'm going to actually be in this building when I make the detonation take place. I have my two wires ready to go. And if everything goes as planned, when I connect these two terminals, we will have detonation. I'm going to set up the drone and a slow motion camera. It's time for the good part. Okay, it's showtime. We have the drone in the air. And then about 25 feet away, I have the slow motion camera set up. I'm hoping it doesn't get damaged. And now let's go to the detonation room. This is what the drone is seeing at the moment. Should be a nice shot. And let's do it. Okay, it is now showtime. Let's press the record button. The drone is now recording. And three, oh boy, two, okay, one. All right, let me go check my wiring. Something must have came loose. Okay, I totally redid my wiring. I don't think there was a problem with the battery or the power sources. So let's give this another shot. Let's put the drone on record. Here we go. In three, two, one. Hmm. Okay, I have double and triple checked my wiring. Everything is good. The only thing I can think of is maybe the polarity matters. Maybe there's a diode somewhere in line. So let's try this again. Three, two, one. What 
the heck? Is this a dud? I gotta switch the wiring again. Okay, so a friend of mine did some internet searching and he says it takes 35 volts for the airbag to deploy. Therefore, I now have a 39 volt power supply connected to the Jackery, which I will arm now. And let's see if this thing finally goes off in three, two, one. <laughs> the detonation was successful. The crater is slightly bigger. It was not near as explosive as I expected, but I'm looking forward to seeing the drone and the slow motion footage. So here is the airbag post destination. And it's amazingly hot to touch, like burning hot. And some kind of weird looking smoke keeps coming out of it. I bet that's really healthy. Whoa. I'm not going to breathe those fumes. It's like it's on fire. Well, that's what an airbag looks like after it detonates. Mission success.